Regina Chen, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. For he whom you did marry to be here, Hallelujah. As risen as he said. Hallelujah. Pray for us to God. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. For the Lord has risen indeed. Hallelujah. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain from his virgin mother Mary, the joys of eternal life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, Amen. and may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be born without the end. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be born without the end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Added to our own individual intentions, we are requested to pray for the following intentions at this Mass. Special intentions for the family of Gladys, Okosi, and Bright Joe. Exam success for Iforma and Chinonso Obeta. In thanksgiving to God for his guidance on Charles and Toa Oduma. The coordinator animators and the entire children of Equaja Dinary MCA request this Mass in thanksgiving to God for his blessings upon them, for God's journey mercies on all of them as they travel to and fro the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, and for the success of their recording today. They also ask for God's guidance as they carry out the MCA activities in Equaja Dinary. May the good Lord hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord.
the intention of one of our daughters who celebrates her birthday and even brought it to the cathedral. If I don't even mention your name, you know yourself. You are celebrated. We pray God will watch over you, watch over your parents with children all over the world. Yes, we are your friends or your family members and we pray. You will live to celebrate more birthdays through Christ our Lord. Amen. I welcome the chaplain of Ipaja Dinari, Reverend Father Jackin Irabo. I just came. I'm just standing by his side. I'm nobody. I'm just standing by his side. And I welcome all the sisters that are so much involved in the MCA project. Sister Benelita, I met Sister Felicita or whatever. All other sisters that, if I don't even know your name, God knows you. Our animators want to thank God for you. And children, we know you still have the strength. And God will give you the strength throughout this mass. None of you will fall or collapse through Christ our Lord. We we'll pray this program will be one of the very best that the Act Dances has done. And they will be referring to this program. So we want to thank God for all the members. We just met our sister today, Sister Rachel. Thank you very much. Others that I don't know and, and don't know me. So at least you are seeing me. We we'll pray that God will meet us at the point of our need through this man's true Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love for God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. Your Almighty God, have mercy on us, may forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting.
Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence written for us by the law of sin, which in the past can mystery you cancelled through the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, the apostles went back to Jerusalem, a short distance away. No more did the Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Aphius, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer, together with several women, including Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Stand to God. The response to the psalm is, Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
The Lord be with you. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited. When they ran out of wine, since the wine provided for the wedding was all finished, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to said Jesus said, Woman, why turn to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servant, Do whatever he tells you. There were six stone water jars standing there, meant for the ablutions that are customary among the Jews. Each could hold twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to the servant, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them to the brim. Draw some out now, he told them, and take it to the steward. They did this. The steward tested the water and it had turned into wine, having no idea where it came from. Only the servant who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said, People generally serve the best wine first and keep the cheapest stores till the guests have had their plenty to drink. But you have kept the best wine till now. This was the first of the signs given by Jesus it was given at Cana in Galilee. He let his glory be seen, and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of this holy gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. Let's be seated. Glory to Jesus. Children, children. Children, children, with children all over the world. We thank God for the gift of today. We thank Him for His love and mercies. We again thank God for giving us the privilege to gather here today to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. We thank all who have made today a reality especially our dear sister, the coordinator, Sister Benita Agugo IHM, the coordinator of the MCA in our deanery, and all the aminators and the children who are here today, with children all over the world. Today we see from the feast we celebrate today, that of Our Lady Mother of Africa. Just recently, after the Easter Sunday celebration, someone was saying to me, Father, thank God that the Lenten season are over. We cannot go back to square one. And I say to her, my dear child, you didn't pass through the Lenten season to go back to square one. You didn't pass through the Lenten season to go back to Egypt. You didn't go through the Red Sea. You didn't go through the wilderness of perseverance, the wilderness of Lenten work, the wilderness of Lenten pilgrimage, just to return back to Egypt. And as a little child that she was, she said to me, Father, because I was fasting and because I wanted to fast away from quarreling with my friends, they were all getting at my nerves during the 
Lenten season. And I ask her, when they get at your nerves during the Lenten season, do you in return quarrel with them? Do you in return fight with them? And she said, no. And I said, that is the fruit of the resurrection. After when we have passed through the Lenten season of perseverance and the Lenten season of fasting away from vices, it becomes a necessary sine qua non that after those fasting, after planting the, planting the seeds of virtues as against the seeds of vices, these virtues will begin to grow during the Easter season. And that is why I say to her, you don't need to go back quarreling with them. If for 40 days you were able not to quarrel with your friends who get at your nerves, if for 40 days you were able not to quarrel with those who get you angry, if for 40 days you were able to control your anger and your dislike among your friends, it means God is showing you during this Easter season during this period, we celebrate the resurrection. And as children of the resurrection, God is showing us that we should not and we are not supposed to go back to Egypt by going back to square one. My dear children, the Easter story is a story of witnessing. The Easter story is a story of living out the life of the resurrection. We are not called to experience the risen, the risen Christ in Egypt. We are called to experience the risen Christ in our life, in our day-to-day -day activity. If after we have made all the fastings we could do during the Lenten season and we water it down to nothing by going back to our old way of life, then the death of Christ would have been nothing, would have meant nothing to us. So my dear children, for those of us who were able to fast during this, during this Lenten season that just passed, that we fast away from quarreling, we fast away from disobedience, we fast away from having issues with our friends in, in school, we fast away from being a negative influence among our children, we fast away from being a bully to our fellow peers, we fast away from the negative and vices that we have within us. Now that we are in the era of the resurrection, the virtue that we planted during the Lenten season will begin to bear fruit. And that is what the gospel reading of today is calling us into. From the first reading, we see in the act of the apostles how they gather together to pray. It means prayer becomes the key to everything we do as children. As children, we could say to our mommy and daddy, Mommy, let us take our morning prayer. Let us take our evening prayer. Let us take our night prayer. Remember, prayer, they say, is the key. And we see how important or the result of prayer in the gospel reading of today. Our Blessed Mother was there at the wedding at Cana and they, they ran out of wine and she called upon the son to provide for them. It means that as little children, as often as we pick up our rosary to pray, as often as we pick up our MCA rosary to pray, as often as we gather together as MCA children to pray for our fellow children, to pray for ourselves, to pray for our daddy and to pray for our mommy, to pray for our auntie and uncles, to pray for our teachers, to pray for our coordinators, to pray for the church. Our Blessed Mother, the Queen of Africa, is always there to intercede for us. So therefore, my dear children, today we are called not to go back to Egypt, but always remain in prayer, be steadfast in prayer, and be faithful to the call as children who are missionary. Remember, as children, we are missionaries, and we are called to pray for those who are far away in missions. We are called to pray for those who within us are experiencing some challenges in life. The prayer of children 
are always, always, and always very, very important in the sight of God. So, my dear children, as we reflect through the readings of today from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of St. John, it is important we pray and it is important we live out the life of the resurrection. Above all, it is important we call upon the intercession of our Blessed Mother. We pray God to bless his words in our hearts today through Christ our Lord. Peace be with you. Faithful. No response. Diocese of Lagos, that God may continue to minister and guide them, so that they in turn will minister to all people according to the mind of God. We pray, O oh Lord. country Nigeria and all other countries where there is war, especially Ukraine and Russia, that God may let his peace reign in the world. We pray, O oh Lord. the world, for God to give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding, so as to be good missionaries. We pray, O oh Lord. Yeah, 
director, coordinators, animators, and parents, that God should continue to strengthen them in all their endeavors and to provide for them so as to provide for us and give them the knowledge to take care of the children. We pray, O oh Lord. silence we now offer our own intentions to God our Heavenly Father. We pray through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady Mother of Africa, as we say, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. And bless the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, you sent your Son to become fully human. Give us the wisdom to pattern our lives on the example of Mary and Joseph so that through the power of the resurrection, we may be truly disciples of Jesus, your Son, on our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Father, receive with this offering the prayers of your people so that through the intercession of Mary, Mother of Africa, we may seek to be faithful to Christ, announce his word to others, and leave us brothers and sisters in your family through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hands. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in your infinite goodness, you have given to the Virgin Church the model of true worship in the Virgin Mary. She is the Virgin who listens, who embraces your words with joy. Treasuring them in the silence of her heart. She is the virgin of prayer who sings of your mercy in her canticle of praise, who shows concern for the bridegroom and bride of Christ, and intercedes for them with her son, who prays with the apostles in oneness of mind and heart. She is the virgin mother who gives birth to your son. By the power of the Holy Spirit, and at the foot of the cross is proclaimed as mother of the people of the new covenant. She is the virgin who offers presenting the firstborn in your temple and sharing in his self-offering beside the tree of everlasting life. She is the virgin who keeps vigil awaiting the resurrection of her son with unwavering hope and looking forward to the coming of the Holy Spirit with steadfast faith. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with you we proclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this case we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then turned willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, they took the chalice and once more giving thanks, they gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death O lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Alfred Mullins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, the spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints of, who has pleased you throughout the ages, may we may marry to be poor so in eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We call on God our Father as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We bow to one another as sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Jesus keep us safe for eternal life.
for the benefit of those worshipping with us at home or elsewhere, we make an act of spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. We adore you. We love you above all things. And we desire with all our hearts to receive you into our souls. But since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our souls and remain there forever. We embrace you as though you have already come. We unite ourselves entirely to you. Do not permit us to be ever separated from you again. Amen. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have, have mercy, mercy on the dying. dying. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have mercy on the dead. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, grant, grant us a holy and happy death. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be one without end. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we have received this heavenly sacrament and now we pray that we who honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Africa, we come to share in the eternal banquet in heaven with all the saints through Christ our Lord. It's now time for Thanksgiving. Members of the Missionary Childhood Association, MCA, Equaja Dinari. Let us come forward for our Thanksgiving. Children, yes. glorious children, yes. will you shout hallelujah? Yes. Shout hallelujah to the Lord seven times. Uh, hallelujah, number one. Uh, hallelujah, number two. Uh, hallelujah, number three. Uh, hallelujah, number four. Uh, hallelujah, number five. Uh, hallelujah, number six. Uh, hallelujah, number seven. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Children of God. Yes. Children of God. Yes. Glorious children. Yes. Wonderful children. Yes. Will you shout hallelujah? Yes. Shout hallelujah to the Lord five times. Hallelujah number one. Hallelujah number two. Hallelujah number three. Hallelujah number four. Hallelujah, number five. Yeah. Are you happy? Oh, yes. Are you happy? Oh, yes. Are you sad? Oh, no. Are you sad? Oh, no. If you're happy, clap for Jesus. Oh. Jesus, going on. 
I never see your typo. It's going on. Bless her be your holy name. Bless her be your holy name. It's going on. This going on. I never see your typo. I never, never see your typo. It's going on. Bless her be your holy name. Bless her, bless her, be your holy name, This time, God, this time, God, I never see your type. I never, oh. never see your type. Oh. This time, God, oh. yeah. bless her, be your holy name. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord,
that we had today. At this juncture, I want to thank the parish priests of all our various parishes in the Pajadinari for your support and prayers and for allowing us to be here today through your contribution. To our parents, for allowing our children to be here today for this wonderful event. And to my animators, for making our time to teach our children the prayers and songs. And for making our time to be here in person for this event. May God continue to empower you with his blessings always. Have a great day ahead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>